Hello everyone, welcome to this week's live stream lesson with me, Stu, and Ukulele Zen. So glad you can join me. This lesson, you're going to want to stick around for the whole time because we are going to begin a wonderful multi-part journey into scales. We won't do this every week in a row, but we're certainly going to explore the major scale today, calling this Major Scale Workout Part 1. So stick around, you know, the mother of all harmony, of all melody, is understanding your scales. And I thought, what a better place to start than with the C major scale. I'm going to take you through in this lesson four exercises. We'll not just do them in a, you know, a boring fashion. We're going to get creative with these. And we'll also uh, be able to zoom in real close and take you through each example one by one so you can get the most out of this lesson. Are you psyched? Are you ready to go? I am excited, you can tell. Thanks for joining me, to everyone who joins me every week. Thank you so much. We're gonna jump right into the lesson. When we finish, we'll have a relaxing meditation, something to bring us back to the present moment, something to nourish our souls, and something that can make our music making even deeper. So I hope you can join me. Please hit me up in the chat. Let me know where you're from. I see there's some Regular sweeties in the house. Kelly, thanks for sending me that email with that sweet kids song. Can't wait to play that with my little boy. How are you all feeling out there? So we're going to uh, get started. And I uh, just want to let you know really quickly that if you're interested in uh, getting a printable version of this, you know everything you need will be right here on the screen, as I mentioned before. But if you're interested in a printable version of what I'm offering today, there is a link in the description down below. Uh, that's for patrons of my channel. Many thanks to all the patrons. Many thanks to everyone who shows up every week. There's a regular crew of folks showing up from around the world. And if you're watching live or as a replay, please hit me up in the chat. Let me know where you're listening from. Thank you all for joining me. One other thing before we begin, next week uh, I'm going to be announcing a new workshop of mine and it is all about Caribbean music. I am so psyched for this. It's going to be the 14th. It'll be live, but you can watch any times a replay. I'm making jam tracks and a really cool uh, program of Caribbean music. So many styles to explore. We're going to learn melodies. We're going to learn rhythms. Can't wait to share that with you, so please save the date. And uh, if you want to learn more, uh, it'll be announced soon, but my mailing list, there's a link to my website down below. And I'll, of course, as usual, offer uh, a donate, a, uh, a discount to everyone who's a patron of my channel, Ukulele Zen. All right, let's get started. Are you ready? First, just a little bit, and again, just a little bit of music theory. There's a bit of contrast on this board but hopefully you can see it just fine. A wee bit of music theory before we get into the hands-on about how to play these and get creative with them. The major scale is a template and it is a way of organizing pitches. There are scale formulas for major scales, for minor scales, for pentatonic scales. You could think of it as a mold in which you're shaping the different pitches. Now there's a lot to say about this formula and all the implications. I just want to go over this very quickly. This is the major scale formula. There are seven notes to the major scale and then after the seventh note you get back to the first note. Number eight is the same pitch as number one. There is a half step between scale step three and four there's a half step before seven and eight. Now, we're going to warm up our hands and we're going to find this pattern on the open C string. Go ahead, pluck your open C string and you will see that we will be playing C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then getting back to the C, okay? So, let's get into this. If you can memorize this formula, you will be able to find a major scale in any key, especially with this other info that we'll touch upon later. That's the major scale formula. A whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. All you have to remember is that there are half steps between three and four and seven and eight. Come on, say it with me. Ready? Half steps are between three and four 
and seven and eight. Okay, how's that for some oral tradition for you? Okay, learning deeply. Now, a, a whole step is two frets, sometimes called a whole tone. A whole step is two frets between each note. A half step is one fret. A nice way to begin to plot this out is to find it on the open string. So come on, join me right now. Pluck your open string. Thank you, Cheryl. So glad that you're here. Got folks from Alaska in the house. This is scale step one, the root note, C. Scale step two, as we know, it's a whole step away, so two frets higher. So we go up one fret, two frets, and there is our D. You could play this all with your first finger if you like. The next step, scale step three, is a whole step. So two frets higher. And right now we have open, second fret, fourth step, uh, fourth fret. <laughs> It's already sounding like a major scale. All right, we're just blocking out the scale. So let's do this again, open. Scale step two, second fret. Scale step three, fourth fret. We're going from scale step three to four, so we're moving up, come on, say it with me, put it in the chat, a half step. So just one fret, yep. Moving up to the fifth degree of the scale, the fifth step, a whole step, up to the seventh fret. Right there we have the first five notes, C, D, E, F, G. We're playing it on one string for now. All right, let's go all the way up and then we're going to explore patterns that are in positions, okay? We're just outlining the scale on one string, which is a very cool thing to do for your improvisation, all right? So one more time, let's move up to the fifth degree of the scale. Join me, please. Ready? Open string C, second fret D, third fret, uh, third step, fourth fret E, fourth step, fifth fret F, and then a whole step up to G. Okay, from here, it's a whole step up to A, then a whole step up to B, and then a half step up to that octave. You've heard this scale before. Playing it with one finger so it's very clear. So that is a nice way to understand the distances between the notes. I recommend that you rewind this video or watch it again and draw some diagrams on your fretboard, okay? Now, here is a powerful exercise for not only practicing this and developing finger dexterity and strength, but it's a cool improv trick. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the open string twice and the second fret once open string. Join me. Open, open, two, O. Oh. Now go to the fourth fret and open. Fifth fret and open. Seventh fret and open. Ninth fret and open. Eleventh fret and open. And then finally the octave the root note again. So we can begin to alternate the open string and the fretted notes. Just give a listen to me. I'll first do it as an exercise and then I'm going to improvise for 30 seconds. I'll create a beginning, a middle, and an ending in 30 seconds. Just watch me for a moment. You ready? Here we go. alternating the open string and the note, which allows you to hear each note's relationship to the root note. 
Again, everything we're talking about here could be a deep dive. You could go into each one of these for a while, but let's just get right into it. And now, in a little impro improvisation using that technique. Here we go. Okay, so I'm using some different techniques with my picking and fretting, but you can see the concept, okay? This is part one of the lesson. Don't click away. <laughs> I know sometimes it can be challenging to learn new things. You're awesome for sticking around. Appreciate you being here. Watch this video again and practice that. If you're enjoying this so far, do me a huge favor and click the like button. If you haven't already, hope you'll subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of video content I've made over the years at my channel page, Ukulele Zen. And there are links down below to my Patreon page and other ways uh, that you can join the community. Thanks for being with me. I'd like to move on now to another, uh, an, uh, the, you know, the next section. And this is a little sample of what you would experience in my upcoming webinar. Uh, this kind of instruction supported by graphics, et cetera, et cetera. The one octave C major scale is what we just played, right? We played it on one string. Now let's play it in one position, okay? You may have come across this before. Follow along with me. I'll come in nice and close to my hand so you can follow along. One, two, nice and slow. sounds exactly the same as there is one thing right here yeah I see it the fifth fret could be an open string just like it is right there okay so you begin to memorize where you place your fingers and as you do this I recommend that you begin to make music right away I'm gonna put on a drone right now this is an Indian drone an app called iTabla Pro. It's what Indian classical musicians use to practice and perform with. This is simulating the four string drone instrument, um, reminiscent of uh, uh, you know, all kinds of exotic and beautiful music from India. This is droning on a C. So now we can begin to practice the scale and start to make some phrases. Let's first practice the scale up and down. We'll do it slowly, and then we'll pick up the speed, and then we'll begin to explore some improvisation. Here we go. One, two, here we go. If you're familiar with this scale, please go ahead and jam around a little more. Let's do this one more time for everybody new. We're going to pick each note two times. I'm using my thumb. You could use two fingers. You could even use a pick. All right, here we go. One, two, practice with me. Two strokes. So this is a re this is, these are the ingredients. It's like the recipe, all the ingredients you need to now create 
some melodic phrases. When you're first beginning to use melodic phrases, the drone is a wonderful tool because you can hear how each pitch is in relationship to that drone, almost as if somebody is strumming a very exotic C major chord for you. So when you begin to make phrases, start with just a few notes and think about rhythm. Think about mimicking speech, okay? And a powerful practice tool is to play, it's a game really, play a few notes and then sing them back, okay? So you're gonna copy what you play. You don't have to uh, copy exactly what you did. Don't uh, be concerned about your voice being perfectly in tune. We're playing, right? And these are practices, which means they're not perfect. They're not perfections, they're practices, all right? So big ups to you for showing up and being open to growing in new ways, all right? Let's zoom in on my hand, and how about you watch just for a moment? Here's an example of some simple melodic phrases. I'll start halfway through the scale on this note, G. Okay, here we go. Let me give you another example. Okay? And you just begin to get a relationship between what you'd like to play, what you're hearing in your imagination, and what's coming out. They could be very different. Eventually, you begin to merge them together and you start to listen very carefully to your note choices. Let's all freely improvise for one minute now. Remember, there are no wrong notes, okay? You are the driver of your own music. Let's do this together. Let's improvise and just play with your heart. Here we go. One, two, let's begin. Good idea to keep some space. Keep going. Play with the space. notes ring. If you find something you like, play it again. Play it again. And then move on. Keep going. Let's finish our ideas. Come in for a landing. Come in for a landing. And strum a C chord gently. Wonderful, wonderful. This is, of course, just one of many ways to improvise. We're keeping it gentle and spacious to practice. And you can see, hopefully, that practicing scales is not just a matter of going all day long. We're practicing these to make music with them. Just like you buy a cookbook, not just to read it, you buy the cookbook to deliver the recipes, you know? So, have fun with this. You can uh, really lose yourself in a good way. Lose yourself in the bliss of being connected to your music. Improvisation is something we explore in my workshops. And uh, in the bonus content for the Finger Style Workshop, there's a link to that at my website's store. Now, I know what I'm doing is, is different than your typical ukulele lesson. If you tuned in last week, you know we had a wonderful strum and sing 
This is a little different. This is playing melodic, uh, improvising music and learning some new skills. So thanks for hanging with me. If you're digging this, please give it a thumbs up and hope you'll share this video with your friends. Um, there is a printable version of this to anyone just joining me. Um, printable version at the link down below for patrons. Um, the low monthly membership and uh, it really uh, helps me a lot and I appreciate it. It's an honor being uh, a guide for your music. So thank you. Let's move on now to the two octave major scale. Okay, it begins just like the first scale. But then we're going to extend it all the way up to the high C to play two notes, two octaves. Okay, when we get back to the root note, that same pattern that we talked about at the beginning of the lesson is going to just repeat itself. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's first just practice it nice and easy. I'm going to zoom in on my hand, bring up the graphic. This is a sample, by the way, of what you experience at my workshops. Stay tuned for more about that. Here we go, nice and slow. Breathe, listen, explore. Try to make a clean sound. This note could be an open string. Okay, now we're going to move up to the 5th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret, and now we're way up here, 14th fret, and the 15th fret. For some of us, we've never played up here. Isn't that cool? you got a high C up here. All right, so hold it with your pinky. What happens very often when we're learning something new, we're grabbing naturally because we're trying. Try to soften up the hand and let gravity do as much of the pushing for you. Go on up there at the 15th fret, use your pinky. Curve that finger, your beautiful pinkies. Okay, as best you can. I know we all have different abilities with our fingers. 14, let's go down at 12. Cool, let's slide down, third finger at the 10th fret. First finger's at the 8th fret. Nice, slide down now, 7th fret. Yes, and now we're back here. Now let's keep going down. Congratulations, you're playing a two octave major scale. <laughs> All right, it takes time, it takes practice. Practice is just repetition with kindness. Thanks for showing up. Let's do this again. And you know, you have a built in drone. We use the Tampora, we use this app, the, the iTabla Pro app. We could hang out with that, but I want to show you how you can use your open C string as a drone. So check this out. I'm just going to play uh, the notes. Of course, the notes on the C string, it's hard to drone because you don't have that C string free. But now, watch. gently very nice if you're comfortable up here I gotta teach you this this is a cool cool thing check it out your pinky's here fifth fret um, uh, 15th fret first fingers at the 12th fret and if you strum all four strings with this right here you get an awesome C major chord I'm curving these fingers so you can see but this is what my hand would look like okay so 12th and 15th, gorgeous upper octave uh, C major chord, okay, wonderful way to begin, uh, to end the song. All right, dropping little uh, favorite things of mine. 
Hey, thanks so much, Martin. I appreciate that super chat. Your support is so appreciated. Bob in the house. Wow. Good to have you here from Madison area, Wisconsin. Man, I haven't heard from you in a while, brother. Hope you're doing well. Um, so Randall's asking a really important question, and then we're going to get back to this. The dots on the neck. Every uh, instrument has a different fretboard markers. So uh, these are just positions. These are uh, road maps. So you can think of them, you know, so uh, yeah, every ukulele design, every guitar designed a little different. When I'm looking down the top of the instrument, I can see these dots and I know it's the fifth fret. And I've memorized that the fifth fret of this string is a C, fifth fret of this is an F, fifth fret of this is an A, fifth fret of this is a D. I've just hung out with that enough. And these these dots help you to find your positions on the neck. So my ukulele has um, fretboard markings at the 5th fret, at the 7th fret, up here at the 10th fret. Some have it at the 9th fret. Mine's at the 10th fret. And at the 12th fret. You uh, Go look at your ukulele. You've already seen it, right? But just appreciate that. Thanks for giving us a road map. Classical guitar students, I was one for many years. You know, there's no dots. You're just on your own. <laughs> but a little trick is that if you don't have fretboard markers, we put a little piece of invisible scotch tape right here at the seventh fret, and you and you orient yourself that way. Okay. Eventually, you just know where to put your fingers. It takes time. Okay. Vincent, you're very kind. Thank you for that super chat. Appreciate your support. So, a lot of info. I know. That's why we're gonna we're gonna. That's why we go slow, and um, yeah, so you can absorb this. Watch this a few more times, and. If you dig what I'm offering, please share this with some of your ukulele playing friends. And um, we're going to hang out with the C major scale in two octaves, and we're going to start to jam with it. Uh, improvising is a wonderful process. It's, um, you know, just have fun making up your own ideas. Small bits of musical material with silences. Punctuate your ideas with silence. And yeah, you, I do have one extra fret marker at the first fret, but that's a yin-yang. That just lets me know uh, to stay in balance. That's what that's about. All right, can we do this from the beginning? Thanks for joining me. I'm just going to start to jam, and please uh, do the same, okay? I'm going to put that drone on, a little quieter this time, and uh, just jam. You know, go up and down. Hang out in one area for a while. It takes a while to memorize this, but once you get it, you start to improvise, start to slide, make up some phrases. Here we go. First, I'll just play the scale. You jam with me. Next octave. Don't have to wait years or even months, you know, let me learn my scale and then I can start to do something creative with it. Get creative right out the right out the gate. Your best friend will be silence, okay, when you improvise, okay, and then start to decorate. Okay, with slides. You can see I slid into that third note E. It's found right there as well. Jam. Try to listen closely. Ya do 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 da. Ya do marinya. Ba do dum pa pa dum ba do do. Ba do dum pa pa da pa. If you like a note, stick there. Stay there. And then, whenever you get back home to root, it feels like the story is complete.
C major scale, C major scale. Yo, a deer, a female deer. doing my thing are you doing your thing come on do your thing how you feeling out there folks now there's some more things to share in this lesson we're gonna go through these other exercises briefly uh, and we will explore this uh, in greater detail okay these are the building blocks of harmony there are of course more theoretical things to understand but for now Let's get right into the music making. That's what my teachers always impressed upon me. You know, um, rather than wait till you understand everything and then do it, just do it, and then allow the doing to teach you. Okay. Just to recap, we're going up and down the scale to start, and then we're beginning to improvise with simple phrases. A great game, a one, a powerful practice exercise is to. Sing back what you play. It makes you listen very closely. Zadorumba. And it could be very simple, just one note. Da, 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 da. One note played with rhythm. Da, 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 da. All right. So you can experiment and go deeper by listening, um, you know, see the difference of tone on the note if i pick back here it starts to sound like right if i pick over here sounds rounder ho 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 right you can experiment with different uh, moods all right this is subtle but it's very different to play you know this with a a tender I'm feeling love, I'm, pu I'm putting it out there, my heart into the instrument, into your ears, hopefully. And then sometimes you can get all kinds of different stuff. Excitement, you know, aggression. Everything's welcome, you know. Let your instrument be a conduit to release. All right, this is, the this is starting to tap into the healing power of music, right? So sit with this. Of course, this is very different than learning a song. We've done that many times. We'll do it again. I'm giving you uh, something that I hope you'll sit with and... Um, Turn it into a, just a practice that's enjoyable and, and creative, okay? Are you digging this? Let me know uh, in the chat and we can, we can move on. Appreciate y'all being here, my goodness. Wow, we got folks from all over the world. Burnell is here, hello, from Philadelphia, I believe. Madison, you live in Middleton. Cool, Bob, good to have you here. Um, Martin is here. And uh, John, thank you for that super chat. Andy, thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Um, all right, let's keep on going. Jack Black from Berlin, Germany. Glad you're here. Jack Black, different than the actor Jack Black, or maybe Jack Black is in the house. My goodness. All right, friends. Uh, quick question for you. Did you jam along with the uh, chicken dance? the video I put up last week. That song uses all the notes from the C major scale, okay? It's a piece that stays in one key. There are no accidentals, no sharps or flats. So here's a powerful thing to do in your game, in your playing. You hang out with that melody, and if you haven't yet watched that video, it's on my channel. Just click the channel page down below. And now you can take that vocabulary and start to improvise it, improvise around it. So here's the chicken dance. All right, and you can take that vocabulary, and in the midst of your improv, you have something uh, to fall back on, to anchor yourself, or just to quote, 
you know? So check it out. Here's an example of that. I'm using something that's kind of similar to the chicken dance, or you could go directly, uh, literally quote it. All right, so check out that video if you haven't yet. You know, any, any melody you learn um, in a, using a major scale you can apply into your improvisations. All right, my friends. Uh, thanks for hanging. Peter, thank you so much for your, your super chat donation. Super generous of you. I appreciate that. Um, we're going to wrap up soon. And I've decided that rather than overload this lesson, we'll do these two next week, okay? Let's hang out with these and let's just improvise for a bit and we'll do it in a way that a bridge, it makes a bridge between a meditation, okay? So much to say about meditation, but it's really just the experience of coming home to the present moment, awakening with our senses to what's really going on. Music is a powerful way to do that because the sounds live in the present moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ring this bell and then I'm going to invite you to improvise using these scales, either the, either the one octave or the two octave scale and begin to make some phrases of your, of your own, okay? Before we go, so we can end cleanly, just want to say there are links down below to get a printable version of the lesson notes and also I will be uh, offering this workshop on the 14th, tickets will go on sale soon, patrons will get a discount. I'm putting together a really fun program of melodies, chords, rhythms. It's going to be the first of, of several Caribbean style workshops because there's so many styles in the Caribbean, right? So just letting you know that now so we can end cleanly, so to speak. How y'all feeling out there? I hope you and your family are doing well. If you've watched this far, I appreciate it. And uh, I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some time with me and some time with yourself and your music. So let's put our feet on the floor. Let's listen to this bell and bring all of your attention to your breathing. Just breathe naturally. And then we'll bring all of our attention to the notes that we choose. Plain and having fun. Thank you. The greatest of all skills in music is to listen deeply to the moment. Just keep coming back. Keep coming back. I am always reminding myself with kindness, keep coming back. Your success, so to speak, will be based on how much kindness you can bring to the process of coming back, letting go, coming back. Wishing you and your families all the best, okay? Stay healthy, stay well. Let's improvise. Keep listening, rest your attention on your breathing, breathing naturally. See if you can keep your attention on your breath all the way in, all the way out.
training ourselves to return again and again. Thank you, Trey. Treat your ukulele notes the same. They don't last very long, so we appreciate them while they're here. Go ahead. Spacious at first. Every sound, just keep coming back, listen closely. We're not trying to impress anyone. Just expressing yourself. Where are you right now in this moment? Play with silences. Let's bring a little groove into it now. Okay, now your phrases can have some groove. Here we go. Keep listening, sing it back. Sing and play at the same time. Ba ba do ba, ba ba bo ba, ba bo do bo. Ba ba do do da, ba ba bo ba, ba bo do bo. Ba ba do ba, ba ba bo ba, ba bo do bo. Welcome, Clyde. Ba ba do ba, ba ba bo ba. Keep going. 
going now. One more minute. Try to build to a peak. Coming for a landing. Here we go. And let's end together. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. This has been an exploration of the major scale, the C major scale. There's a link down below if you'd like to get a printable version of this. Thanks for hanging with something that is, you know, off the beaten path, you could say, compared to a lesson that's about learning a song, okay? You'll find that when you practice scales, you'll not only have an outlet for a creative expression, but your hands will get stronger, your chording improves, scales are so important to play, all right? Thank you so much. Wishing you and your family all the best. Hope you'll enjoy this video again because there's a lot that I shared in it. We'll end with one ringing of the bell. Happy landing. <laughs> David, the drone is droning on a C and a G. So it's droning on the two fundamental pitches of the key, one and five. And it provides a bed of, you could think of it as one chord for you to improvise over, okay? If you listen to Celtic music, Indian music, so many styles of music have drones in them. Church music, drones, all right? So a drone is a single pitch that you can improvise over. So much of the world's music uh, uses a drone. Hope that helps, David. Thanks for being here again. Always good to hear from you, man. All right. Thank you well, thank you Shane. Muchísimas gracias. Merci beaucoup. Cheers. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you. Much gratitude. If you're still with me, let's follow the bell one more time. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. Thank you.